get the free notes of electrical circuit check the link in the comment section and install the app for free nodal analysis question write the node voltage equations and determine the currents in each branch for the network given in figure here in this circuit we have to determine node voltage equations and determine the branch current by using nodal analysis solution first of all let's say this is a node 1 with voltage v1 and this is node 2 with voltage v2 let's say this is current i1 this is current i2 this is current i3 and this is current i4 and here let's say this is current i5 all the currents toward reference node this is a reference node with zero voltage now let's apply pcl at node v1 apply kcl kcl stands for kirchhoff's current law apply kcl at node v1 now according to kcl summation of all the current entering a node is equal to summation of all the current leaving the node that is i in is equal to i out now here we can see at this node the entering current is i1 and leaving currents are i2 and i3 these are the leaving current and this is the entering current so here we can write i1 is equal to i2 plus i3 here we can see i1 is equal to 5 ampere here we can write i1 is equal to 5 and i2 in voltage form will be v1 minus 0 divided by 10 v1 minus 0 divided by 10 then plus i3 now this i3 is v1 minus v2 divided by 3 v1 minus v2 divided by 3 now let's simplify this so it will be 5 is equal to v1 by 10 then plus v1 by 3 minus v2 by 3 v2 by 3 now if we solve this so it will be v1 in bracket 1 by 10 plus 1 by 3 so 1 by 10 plus 1 by 3 is 1 by 10 plus 1 by 3 so it is 13 by 13 by 30 13 divided by 30 now it is equal to minus v2 and here this will be 1 by 3 is equal to this 5 as it is let's say this is equation number 1 now next apply kcl at node 2 so apply kcl at node 2 again according to kcl summation of all the entering current is equal to summation of all the current leaving the node now here at this node the entering current is i3 and i5 these are the entering current so here we can write i3 plus i5 is equal to i3 plus i5 is equal to i4 i4 now i3 in voltage form will be v1 minus v2 divided by 3 v1 minus v2 divided by 3 then plus i5 so i5 is 10 minus v2 divided by 1 10 minus v2 divided by 1 is equal to i4 now this i4 is v2 minus 0 divided by 5 v2 minus 0 divided by 5 now again simplify this so it will be v1 by 3 v1 divided by 3 minus v2 divided by 3 10 plus this will be 10 minus v2 v1 by 3 minus v2 by 3 then plus 10 minus v2 
then if we take this on left side, so it will be minus v2 by 5 is equal to 0. So here this will be v1 in bracket 1 by 3. Then here if we take this plus v2 common, then in bracket this will be minus 1 by 3. So let's solve this minus 1 by 3. Then minus 1. Then minus 1 by 5. Minus 1 by 5. So it is minus 23 by 15. Minus 23 divided by 15 is equal to. Now this will be. If we take this 10 on right side. So it will be is equal to minus 10. Let's say this is equation number 2. Now we have equation number 1 and equation number 2. So let's solve this. So mode then 5. There are two unknowns. So equation number 1. Now this will be 13 by 30. 13 divided by 30. And it will be minus 1 by 3. So minus 1 divided by 3. And is equal to 5. And here this will be 1 by 3, 1 divided by 3, this will be minus 23 divided by 15 is equal to minus 10. So therefore V1 is equal to, V1 is equal to 19.87, point, 19 19.87 volt and V2 is equal to 10.84, 10.84 volt. Now next is, we have to find, determine the branch, determine the current in each branch for the network. So we have to determine I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5. So let's write I1 is equal to, I1 is equal to, I2 is equal to, I3 is equal to, I4 is equal to and I5 is equal to. Here we can see I1 is equal to 5 ampere directly. So I1 is equal to 5 ampere then I2. Now I2 is V1 minus 0 divided by 10. V1 minus 0 divided by 10. The value of V1 is 19.87. 19.87 divided by 10. So it will be 19.87 divided by 10. So it is 1.987. 1.987. Then it is current. So its unit will be ampere. Then I3. So I3 is V1 minus V2 divided by 3. V1 minus V2 divided by 3. So the value of V1 is 19.87 minus the value of V2 is 10.84. 10.84 divided by 3 is equal to. So this will be minus 10.84 divided by 3. So it is 3.01 ampere. 3. 0, 1 ampere. Then next is I4. So I4 is V2 minus 0 divided by 5. V2 minus 0 divided by 5. The value of V2 is 10.84. So 10.84 divided by 5. So it will be 10.84 divided by 5. So it is 2.168, 2.168 ampere. Then last is I5. So here we can see I5 is equal to 10 minus V2 divided by 1. 10 minus V2 divided by 1. So it will be 10 minus 10.84 divided by 1. So 10 minus 10. 8, 4. So 
so it is minus 0 0.84 minus 0 0.84 ampere is the value of i phi u so this is how we can find branch current and node voltage equation by using nodal analysis check the link in the comment section and install the app for free thanks for watching